Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating. If this is your sun sign, I love Gemini season. It's fun and robust and the energy is high. The vibrations are high this month. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So one week it could be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. I do love readings on Monday. I do a lot of attraction tarot card reading. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a four month predictive reading. If you haven't seen that for the months of May through August. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Gemini? Messages for Gemini, please. Start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles. The Page of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands. Now listen, pages are messengers, so don't get too haywire when you see pages showing up. All right, you've got the Hierophant, the Tower, and the Eight of Wands, too. Well, I do feel like you have, you've got a marriage here, but you've got communication. You've got brace for change big time. So when we said, that, you know, it's an adventurous season, get ready because the energy here is robust and it is exciting. There's something big happening here. Now, pages are messengers, but they're also developing energies. So you have developments in the area of communication, but also in terms of material, in terms of your, if you have any kind of educational situation going on here with the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant, that's that these two especially um, indicate higher education or like a student of life, something like that. But you have air here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you have Taurus showing up, fire, and you do have Earth. So with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're going to be very clear about what you want. You know, the the Queen of Swords is knowing yourself. You know where you've been. You may have been through some hardships. I'm not saying everything's been easy. But once you know yourself, you know the universe. What you are seeking is also seeking you. So you can't miss something that's meant to be for you. And with this, I feel like you really get that. Like if something didn't work out in the past... You don't see it as a loss as much as that just wasn't part of your path. Now, you have a very, in terms of education, this keeps showing up. This is very highly intellectual energy, can be the card of the attorney. So if you're in law school or you're attracting somebody who's a lawyer or something like that, um, again, I'm, and I mean that more as a, um, a love interest rather than you're going to need a good attorney. I don't see that showing up. But I also feel like, too, or if you're in school getting maybe an MBA or a master's degree in something, I do feel like it brings more into your life in terms of, of career opportunities. Because, you know, I mean, I know people that have PhDs and are in significant debt and are not making any money. This is where a door opens. So you're going to be witty. You're going to be outgoing. You're going to be a blast to be around in this. But again, I do feel like you have a bit of a dominating energy here. So you may find that when you're out in groups of people, you do be careful not to overly dominate conversations because with this, you get on a roll and the next thing you know, it's like you're doing stand up or something, right? You know, we don't want to quite do that in a social circumstance, but hell, if you're into stand up, go for it in this. So with the, um, with the page of pentacles, I like this a lot. Now, if it's somebody that you're attracting to, I mentioned about being a student of life. But I do feel like it's somebody who's really going to value a relationship with you. They see the good in things. I feel like it's much, very much a half glass full type of person. Um, I also feel like, too, in terms of a job, anybody with something new. It also has to do, you've got with the Page of Swords here, the internet spy, the internet sleuth, the internet detective. So again, you may be using the internet in terms of getting work or getting your name out there, which is pretty common, right? How many people have paper applications anymore. I don't I don't know. I'm sure there are some, but anyway, with the um the page of pentacles, you know, it's a, it's a time where new things are happening, but there's enthusiasm. Pages also bring in a new energy. 
and there's optimism, curiosity here. This is very positive energy for you. So anything new with a relationship or those of you that are on a path of, <clears throat> pardon me, getting more education, it's definitely going to lead to new horizons. That's what they say with that. So with the Page of Swords here, the Page of Swords is a bit protective. So I mentioned before, this is the internet spy. Now I'm telling you, you do have love here. You have a marriage and a wedding going on here. You have it twice at least. And so if you're broken up with somebody, don't be surprised if you have an um, unexpected run-in. And I'm going to tell you, it's not unexpected. They know where you are and they don't have a hard time showing up there. I do feel like though you are going to get contact with somebody. You've got communication coming in. And as much as you may say, I don't ever want this person back, I don't know. I feel like there could be a second chance with somebody that you thought that you closed the door on. I don't see them as having any bad intentions. Um, I do feel like they may kind of come back with their tail between their legs, though. So, again, sometimes that can be suspicious, right? Where we look at it and go, well, you know, look at how they're presenting themselves. I feel like it's more an acknowledgement that they realize they blew something, that they weren't behaving correctly. Um, now, with others of you, too, if you're the dabbling with internet or online dating stuff or meet somebody online, I do feel like it's going to go somewhere. This is also, too, about research, though, like we talked about. So I feel like this will be a time, too, where you may spend more time online looking at things, investigating things, whether it's for something you're planning. And you, I feel like, too, you're saving a lot in terms of going out and in, in actually looking at things. So if you're in the market for, let's say, a new gas grill, Instead of going to Home Depot and going to Lowe's or wherever you'd go for that stuff, you're, it's like you're doing a lot of stuff online and I feel like it saves you a lot of money. And I also feel like it brings you into a place of just easier energy where you're not stressed out trying to be out in all that traffic and around all those people. All those people. It makes it sound bad, doesn't it? Well, I mentioned you do have a wedding here, okay? So when we have the Hierophant showing up, he says, be still and know. So know that you're on the path. You do have something really great here, and the communication is going to happen. It's going to be very direct. There won't be anything left hidden here. So with the, the Four of Wands, <clears throat> it is a card of synchronicities too, but um, it's, a, it's a Hindu wedding ceremony. So I do feel like it's a relationship that you're going you're gonna to be in love. You're going to be in a place where you have a lot of trust in this person, commitment, and I do feel like, too, there's an overcoming energy about this. Overcoming maybe some kind of challenge. Those of you that's reconciliation, it is overcoming that, whether you like it or not. Um, others of you, though, with this in terms of your career, it's law of attraction energy. So it's bringing expansion into your world. But the fours are about stability, like order in the, like the four legs of a, a table. And so with this, too, as you expand, you're going to get, it feels like almost a good, solid foothold and whatever you're doing. So it doesn't feel like it's a temporary thing, even though, honestly, I do think it's a stepping stone along the way. I don't think it is forever, but I, again, I don't feel like it, it feels stable, okay? So it doesn't feel like when is, when is this going to end? It's going to be up to you with that anyway. Well, the Page of Wands, you're definitely going to have an increased social life with this one. Now, the Page of Wands has you being a bit daring. You go out and try new things. You get yourself out there. I remember about a year ago, I posted something. I said something about pickleball before it really was popular, and I had people asking me what it was, and now I see it everywhere. You know, it's that kind of energy when you say, God, that looks kind of interesting, and the next thing you know, you're playing in tournaments. And so with this, so I do feel like you're going to be surrounded by really fun people, people who want to go out. If it's your birthday, I don't think you're going to be paying for much. You know, it's people who say, let's have a great time tonight. Let's go out. Let's go shopping. Let's go do, do this. There's a go, go, go about this. So with that, though, the Hierophant comes just in time because we still want to be taking time for self-care, for meditation, and knowing that you are a soul. Because when you get into that go, go, go energy, we can start to become a bit too mind controlled. And this gets you back to center. It is a card of devotion though. So be very clear about that. You do have a devoted life partner here. These two devotees, they have the yokes of unit, unity here. Or yokes of union. So they're trying to tell you that you have a relationship. That the energy is already connected. So if it's somebody new that you meet. 
I do feel like it has to do with that page of wands. You get out into doing something new and they're going to be new people. You know, when people say I never meet anybody, but they never leave their house. Well, it's kind of difficult if you're sitting on your couch to meet anybody new. So there's a connection here, getting out, meeting new people. But overall with this too, the numbers uh, 3, 7, 12 are oftentimes associated. So, you know, it could be in the next three months. So next 12 weeks for some of you. The tower comes in, quick and sudden change. As much as you, the Hierophant is a unity card, the tower is all about awakening. It's bringing in a radical new life. So this this pushes out what was not really stable. It, oftentimes things that we hope manifested or even force manifested, and they never felt right. Again, now some of you, even in reconciliation, I feel like this is significant because it's like the ending of the old relationship. You don't want that old thing coming back around. It didn't work before. It's not going to work now. You need a new relationship, even with somebody that you've been with. Now, for others of you too, I feel like there's a real freedom with this. It's like you go forward, you get rid of anything that doesn't serve you, anything that's just not right for you anymore. And in this next, I even feel like calendar year, things are really going to take off. With the Eight of Wands, we know this is the Arrows of Love, but Eights are about vibration as well and rhythm. They're, this is also an underlying unity. So I feel like they're trying to tell you everything comes together here. In terms of work too, I mentioned any extra education or training, it's going to be very valuable because you're going to feel like your career really comes forward or takes off in a way that feels quickly. Like all of a sudden you start getting new responsibilities but they ha they lead to promotion so let's <clears throat> pardon me let's see here what the angels have to say hmm. all right advice for gemini please okay messages for gemini what else does gemini need to know please Let go and let the universe, let it go and let it flow. Look for a sign. I'm telling you, those signs and synchronicities are going to be all around you. The angels are always communicating with you. They say that you've got success and you've got in the near future, okay? So not much more to wait here because they give you a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Gemini. I love you and I'll be back again soon.